Most people think antioxidants work the same way. You take them, they mop up a few free radicals, and that's it. But what if I told you there's one antioxidant that doesn't just float around in your bloodstream? It actually locks itself into your cell membranes and protects them from the inside out. If your goal is real anti-aging, not just looking younger, but actually aging slower. This deserves a place on your radar. It protects what matters most, the membranes, the mitochondria, the systems that quietly determine how fast you age. If your goal is to actually slow aging at the cellular level, this is one you don't want to ignore. This compound is so powerful that nature uses it to protect microalgae from extreme UV radiation. It's what makes wild salmon pink, and it's one of the few antioxidants that can cross into your brain and protect neurons directly. As we age, oxidative stress doesn't just damage DNA, it damages mitochondria cell membranes, and the system that keeps tissues resilient. Today is all about astaxanthin, one of the most powerful anti-aging compounds we know of and why it's very different from the antioxidants you're used to hearing about. We will cover how it works, what it does for skin, brain, muscles, and mitochondria, and who it actually makes sense for. Most people think anti-aging is about one thing, wrinkles. But real aging happens much deeper than skin level. It's oxidative stress, damaging your mitochondria. It's chronic inflammation, quietly accelerating tissue breakdown. It's your cells losing their ability to protect themselves. So what is astaxanthin? Astaxanthin is a naturally occurring carotenoid, a red pigment produced by microalgae. It's what gives wild salmon, krill, and also flamingos their pink color. But what makes astaxanthin special isn't the color. It's the structure. Unlike vitamin C or E, astaxanthin sits inside cell membranes, protecting them from oxidative damage from both sides. That's a big deal because cell membranes are where a lot of aging-related damage begins. Oxidative stress doesn't just damage DNA, right? It damages the lipid membranes that hold cells together, disrupts signaling, and impairs mitochondrial function. Astaxanthin acts like a molecular shield. So how does astaxanthin measure against other antioxidants? We've all heard claims like astaxanthin is 10 times stronger than beta carotene or 100 times stronger than vitamin E. And even though these numbers are oversimplified, they point to something real. Astaxanthin is fat soluble. It is able to cross the blood brain barrier. It is stable in high oxidative environments non-pro-oxidant even at higher doses. And that last part matters. Some antioxidants can flip and become pro-oxidant under stress. Astaxanthin does not. Instead of just hunting free radicals randomly, it stabilizes these cellular structures, especially mitochondria. And mitochondrial health is one of the biggest levers we have for slowing biological aging. By the way, if you want a free PDF of all the supplements I take, there's a link in the description box. I definitely take astaxanthin every day. I also take the ASLF Foundation Capsules, which is a supplement that I've developed over the last year. This isn't just another anti-aging supplement with one trendy ingredient. It's a complete longevity stack designed around how aging actually happens at the cellular level. As we get older, three major systems start to decline. First, cellular energy drops. NAD plus levels fall and mitochondria slows down. And we feel that as lower energy, slower recovery, and also just less resilience. Second, senescent cells accumulate. These are so-called zombie cells. I'm sure you've heard of them. And they hang around and drive inflammation and interfere with tissue repair. And third, autophagy slows down. And autophagy is your body's ability to clean out damaged components and recycle them efficiently. Most supplements only address one of these. The ASLF foundation capsules are designed to support all three at once. For energy, the formula combines nicotinamide riboside, apigenin, and ubiquinol. Nicotinamide riboside helps replenish NAD levels. Apigenin helps preserve it by blocking CD38. And ubiquinol supports mitochondrial power output where energy is actually produced. For renewal, there's spermidine, one of the most studied longevity compounds for activating autophagy, especially helping your cells clean house. And for defense, quercetin and lutealone work together as natural senolytics, helping reduce senescent cell burden and support a calmer inflammatory environment. The goal here was to stack well-studied compounds in a way that actually makes biological sense instead of taking five or six separate supplements. So if you're interested in supporting energy, cellular renewal, and long-term resilience from the inside out, you can check out the ASLF Foundation Capsules. 
I link them in the description. Now let's get back to astaxanthin. How about astaxanthin and skin aging? Astaxanthin is probably best known for skin, and for good reason. It helps with reducing UV-induced oxidative damage improving skin elasticity, and also supporting collagen preservation. It reduces inflammation that leads to wrinkles. So unlike topical antioxidants that only work on the surface, astaxanthin works systemically. That means it helps protect the skin from the inside, especially against photo aging. But this is not overnight, right? This is over weeks and months. This is slow aging, not cosmetic masking. What about brain, muscles, fatigue? Because astaxanthin crosses the blood-brain barrier, it also supports neurological aging. It helps reduce oxidative stress in neurons, which may support cognitive resilience, reduced neuroinflammation, better mitochondrial efficiency in brain cells. This is huge. In muscles, astaxanthin has been studied for reducing exercise-induced oxidative damage and improving recovery. That matters more as we age, right? Aging muscles recover slower, unfortunately, fatigue faster, and they accumulate more oxidative damage, and astaxanthin helps buffer that stress. So is astaxanthin for you? Well, it's not a magic pill. It won't replace sleep. It won't fix a terrible diet. It's not gonna override chronic stress, but as part of a longevity-focused lifestyle, it fills a very specific role. Membrane protection, mitochondrial defense, inflammation control. It pairs especially well with compounds that support energy and autophagy, like my ASLF foundation capsules, because it reduces the oxidative cost of those processes. Now, what about dosing? Most studies use doses between 4 to 12 milligrams per day. I would suggest you look for natural astaxanthin from microalgae. I will put a brand in the description description box. I have no affiliation with this company. And it's really all about consistency. It's not a feel it instantly kind of supplement. It's really more of a cellular insurance policy. It protects what matters most, the membranes, the mitochondria, the systems that quietly determine how fast you age. And that's it for today. If you found this helpful, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.